Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to do a Pearson correlation in Stata. So without further ado, let's get going. If you look down here in the command window, that's where I'm going to be posting the code that we need to do the Pearson correlation. I've started off by inputting web use census 13 and that is a data set that comes in Stata already. And it's a data set from the 2013 US Census as you can see here. Uh, we have the state, birth rate, population, median age, and some other variables over here. For the purposes of correlation, I would like us to look at the relationship between birth rate and population. So how do we do that? It's a very simple command in Stata, and as with all of the other tutorials, I'm going to show you the actual code so you don't have to use the menu. This is the, the simplest and really the best way to do any work in Stata is to learn to code right from the beginning. It's not as hard as it seems. Um, so here's the command. It's actually pwcore. That's the command itself. And then the variables, birth rate and population. And we just hit enter. And here we have the interpretation. Of course, one is a variables correlation with itself. So birth rate and birth rate, of course, one population and population one. Uh, we have negative 0.283 as a correlation value between birth rate and population, which suggests that as population goes up, the birth rate goes down, uh, which makes sense. States that already have fairly large populations, we could theoretically expect them to have lower birth rates. Now, some of you might notice there's something missing here. We don't have the statistical significance. And obviously we need that if we are to report on these results. Um, so let's show you how we can do that. We're just going to re-enter that same command, pwcore, brate, pop. We're going to put a comma here and then type sig for the p-value or statistical significance. This time, here are our results. We have our r-value for the Pearson correlation, which is of course unchanged. And below it, we have our p-value which is 0 0.0465. And that, of course, is below the threshold of 0 0.05 for statistical significance. So we would interpret this set of results as indicating that there is a statistically significant and negative correlation between birth rate and population. Now, maybe you just want to have a quick look at that visually just to see what it looks like. So why don't we set it up in a, in a scatter plot? in status so that you can see how these variables actually work. And here we go. Let me just make that window smaller so you can see it. Um, yeah, so here you see that as the population goes up, the birth rate goes down. It's, it's, it's a little bit hard to visualize how this line works in the scatter plot. Um, and then the more advanced tutorial on how to do uh, OLS line of best fit and linear regression, I'll actually show you how you can do that. Um, but just for the moment, um, try to visualize how clearly the birth rates are higher for these lower population states and they are lower for these higher population states. Now here notice that we have population on the x-axis and birth rate on the y-axis. That might not be something you want to do. Maybe you want birth rate to be over here and population to be over there. Um, so I just wanted to point out that you can achieve that by switching the terms over here in your scatter plot command. So here we said scatter b rate and pop. Here we're going to say scatter pop and b rate. And what that will do, um, as we said population first, population will end up being over here on the y-axis and birth rate now is uh, on the x-axis. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. Uh, please go to 272analytics.com if you would like to see more free Stata tutorials. We also have SPSS and R tutorials. And finally, if you would like our assistance um, in your chapter four, your dissertation, your thesis, or any statistical academic work that you have, please do consider us for consulting purposes. Thank you so much and have a great day.